The original MEP spinner, the Aglia, was invented by Andre Mulnart in 1938. So that's when our history began. Uh, for my family, it began in the 1950s when GIs started returning from World War II and they were bringing a couple of fishing related items with them, mostly MEP spinners and Mitchell fishing reels. My dad had a retail sporting goods store in Antigo and uh, had a friend or two that brought him some items from France. He hadn't seen lures like that previously and wasn't impressed with uh, how they looked and, and since he hadn't fished with a lure like that before, really couldn't imagine what it would look like in the water. But uh, oh, two or three years after that, he was out fishing the Wolf River and uh, wasn't doing any good, so he started digging around in his tackle box and he saw that old MEP spinner and uh, took it out and started to fish and he caught a limit of trout with the MEP spinner and so uh, he was pretty much sold on it at that point and uh, made arrangements to start selling them in his sport shop. The two fellas that owned the company in France were in their 70s and they decided they wanted to get out of the business and so we bought the company in France in 1972 where all the manufacturing was done. We manufacture a lot of our parts in France yet we use a very uh, rigorous manufacturing process because we machine all of our components. We don't pour them, we don't cast them, we don't press them or anything like that. We use machine components because that gives the lure the best balance and the best performance as well as the most consistency from one item to the next. That's very important for the lure's fish catching ability and it all goes into how the fisherman fishes with the lure and he knows if he loses one, the next one he puts on is gonna fish the exact same way. Our traditional product lines, the components are made in France. They're sent over here where we do all of the painting, the tail tying, assembly by hand, and the packaging. Our newer product lines that we've come up with since my grandfather bought the company those components are made here in Wisconsin. We've maintained our business here in Wisconsin. It gives us a better handle on maintaining our quality. Offshore manufacturers can change your quality without your knowledge. And when you do find out, it's when you've got thousands of them out there in the fishermen's hands and they start to complain. And of course, that's pretty late in the game and you've got a problem at that point. The people who fish our products could take a lot of pride in the fact that they are hand painted, hand assembled right here in the United States. That's a big deal to a lot of people. One thing I can take a lot of pride in is saying that I'm an American and all the people that are working here have a good job because we're keeping the lures that we're making, the, all the work here in the United States. Most fishing lure manufacturers cannot say that. It's uh, a family atmosphere. It's a, a family owned company. Uh, they treat their employees extremely well um, and it shows in our product. So by, when, the, when the product goes out the door, there's a lot of pride. And part of that is it's uh, an exceptional place to work and it shows, it, it just shows through the quality every step of the way uh, along the line. Our main product that we make is the MEP spinner. We do make some spoons and, and variations of spinners, but what we're really known for is the original MEP spinner. These are old MEP spinners that were manufactured basically in the 1950s. And then over here are the same spinners really that are manufactured today in our factory. And uh, 
You can see there's a little bit of difference in them, but uh, mainly it's colors. We've added a strike attractor in uh, modern times and a little bit of paint, but really the whole lure is pretty much the same as it was back in the 1950s. As far as uh, how do you fish with a map spinner, basically you just cast it out and retrieve it at a slow, steady retrieve. It's an easy lure to fish with, and that's uh, part of the beauty of a MEP spinner. You don't have to be an expert or anything like that to fish with it. And uh, kind of as a testament to that, we get letters and photographs from people that uh, sometimes catch a trophy fish of a lifetime the first time they go fishing. A couple of my more memorable fishing experiences were just uh, local experiences. And uh, they're illustrated here on the wall behind me. There's a, a bass up above the lily pads, which uh, was a six pound bass. And I was with my dad when he caught that probably 50 years ago. And I remember the exact spot and how I netted it for him. And we were so excited uh, because it was such a big bass. The other one is the bass mounted on the wood by the lily pads and uh, that was a fish that I caught some years ago. But that was a seven pound bass which is huge for northern Wisconsin. And in that particular instance I was fishing with a new MEPS lure and had a fish and I was fighting it and it jumped out of the water and it was a small northern. And of course it went back in the water and uh, once it was back in the water uh, it started to fight really hard and I thought wow that's amazing that little northern would fight that much and then when I brought it up by the canoe it was this seven pound bass and uh, I found that really unique that you could hook a small northern and somehow it turned into a seven pound bass when it was under the water and there was no break in the fight. The first few times fishing that I can remember involved a stick and a rope, not even monofilament or anything like that. It was a rope. And uh, we used live bait, of course, and uh, caught a few fish. One of my favorite fishing stories for when working with MEPS was uh, I was fortunate enough to go on a uh, fishing adventure up in Alaska. And I caught a to me, it's a trophy Arctic char. It encompasses not just the catching fish, it's the, the whole experience. It's getting ready, it's the catching of the fish, and it's, it's just the whole experience. There is not one thing you can say is, put my thumb on it and say, this is uh, what it, the best part is. It's when you do the, the, uh, a whole fishing experience. And if you don't catch a fish, it's, you still have a good time. There's a lot of pride when you work with kids and show them how it's done, you know, what it takes to catch fish and you're exposing them to something that they may not have been exposed to in the past. It can put a smile on everybody's face, you know, the kids and, you know, me alike. It's like they get to use it and, you know, we built it and look at the fun they're having. You know, it's a sure, a, really a great experience. I'd like to encourage everybody to take a kid fishing. Not only are kids the future of the fishing industry, they're the future of the entire country. So if you've got any desire at all to spend some time with your kid or any kid in general and give them a worthwhile experience, take them fishing and use a MEPS lure. Fishing is still I believe the most popular outdoor sport pastime. And uh, there's a reason for that. It's a lot of fun, brings a lot of good things to uh, the family or your friends that you're with. And uh, it's generally an enjoyable experience. We're still part of that and probably uh, one of the best known uh, manufacturers of fishing lures in the United States. If you want to learn more about MEP spinners and get an idea of uh, what to use, how to use it, uh, uh, you can visit our website at meps.com.